I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of Tarani Friday. Today we have a delicious root beer cream slush. It's a little bit like a shake, a little bit like a slushy, and it's really, really delicious. We're gonna make this with Tarani root beer syrup and this is just an option for you. If you don't like to buy a lot of soda but you have all these Taranis hanging around, why not use them to make some delicious summer treats? So let's go see how this all goes together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just go over the ingredients and start making our root beer cream slush. Now, what I've previously done is I have made some snow, really, this is slushy ice, and I just put about a cup of ice cubes right out of my freezer in my, my Ninja blender, and I just grind it up until it's like super soft snow, like snow cone consistency, even a little bit finer, kind of like what they make uh, Hawaiian shave ice out of. So, we have that. And I have about a cup of good quality vanilla ice cream, and I have two ounces of uh, root beer Tarani syrup. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Tarani right on in there with the ice. And I'm gonna get a spoon. Or a fork, because that's what came out. And I'm gonna put my ice cream in there. And I'm gonna make a mess. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this right on there. And we're gonna tighten that up real good. And we're gonna get that on the Ninja and we're gonna hit the blender. Let's see. Once that's done mixing, now it's gonna be really thick and I'm gonna tell you that it might be really thick about halfway through your blending, so if you have to, go ahead and crack that open and throw a splash of milk in there. No worries. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a glass and we can serve this up. All right, and spoon some into your serving glass. This is a cool way to have like a milkshake or a float without having to add soda to it. If you are one of those folks that doesn't really care for soda, I'm not a big fan of soda myself. Only sometimes. Okay, now all you need is your straw and a tall spoon so you can get down to the bottom. You can top that off with some whipped cream if you like. All right, there is our beautiful and delicious root beer cream slush, and I know Rick is ready to give it a try. Yes? Okay. I think it's drippy, but... Oh, it is drippy. Mm, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I like that it's not so fizzy. It's not fizzy at all. It's just really smooth, and it has the root beer flavor, and it's really, really yummy. So... And surprisingly not that sweet. It's not, it's actually kind of refreshing, isn't it? Absolutely. So there you have it, a delicious Tarani style root beer cream slush. I know that you're gonna love this and you can really make this any flavor you like, any anyone. I mean, I have, and I'm not apologizing, I have over 50 different flavors of Tarani and you could make any one of them into a delicious cream slush this way. So, perfect for a hot summer. Oh, it really is. It's a nice and like a nice afternoon pick me up and a lot cheaper than running to the drive through for something fun on a summer afternoon. So, all the neighborhood kids will end up hanging out at your house when they find out you make these because your kids aren't going to be able to keep it a secret, let's face it. So I thank you for stopping by my kitchen today to see how I made this delicious root beer cream slush. If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give this root beer cream slush a try and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. And until next time, I'll see ya. All right, I went ahead and I kind of, we'll call it marinated all the vegetables, but I didn't let these sit for even five minutes. As soon as I finished up, um, I put all of these, uh, I put the mushrooms out and then I put the squash in and I got them 
good and coated, and then I put them on the sheet pan. And then I put the uh, eggplant in the bag, and I got it good and coated, and I put them on the sheet pan, and then I stuck me a little onion lollipop.